New at 6, a man accused of killing his best friend at this Lake Oconee vacation home describes from jail the events that unfolded minutes before the shooting. I remember we were scuffling on the floor, fighting. And he told Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie that there's one thing he does not remember. You're not denying that you did do it. Right. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Good evening. I'm Justin Farmer. I'm Jovita Moore. New at 6, only Channel 2 Action News asked an accused killer if he shot his best friend. Deputies believe the victim died after a fight between the two men that ended in gunfire. Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in Greene County. And Mark, he answered every one of your questions. We talked to him just before a magistrate bound over his case in the courthouse. Are you guilty of the murder of Mark Demos? No. I was pr protecting myself when I don't remember actually the gun going off. I don't remember pulling the trigger of the gun. I remember fighting with Mark. And I remember he was on top of me, choking me. Mark Demos was a friend of yours. Yes, he was. A very good friend of mine. I met him last year out in Colorado. And uh, we went on a 10-day hunting trip with mutual friends. And we became close. We just kind of clicked real good together. Mark told me about his, his disease he had, the Lewy body's dementia. Chad Hoffler indicated he'd invited his friend Mark Demos to his family's $1.9 million plus vacation home on Lake Oconee. Good guy. Yeah. Great guy. He painted a picture of time spent riding in the boat, eating at the Ritz Carlton, hanging out in the pool, shooting the breeze. But that soon after that would have happened, things took a turn, and Hoffler has been accused in Demos's shooting death. The last thing that I remember talking to Mark about was his wife. Um, you know, he's worried about what's going to happen to Renee when he's gone. And he asked me if I'd check on her. He suggests there is much he does not remember. You know, we're drinking, and uh, were you drunk? Yes. Was Mark Demos drunk also? I would assume so. Yes. We, yeah, he was. He was doing shots of tequila. I remember waking up on the floor, and Mo, Mark has me in a like a chokehold, and I can't breathe. And I remember struggling on the floor with him, fighting and wrestling. I, I had bruises on my, you know, all over my body and stuff. You don't know what caused this? I no, I don't know what caused it. I've never had any foul words with Mark at all, ever. Where did the gun come from? I don't know where it was. Would you have been wearing a gun on you in your vacation home? No, but I would have a gun, you know, I would have a gun in my house. Would you have had it in the basement? It could have been. Testimony from a GBI agent in a hearing soon after our interview. Um, he did make the statement, I don't want to think I went upstairs and got my gun and come back down and shot somebody. Do you think some viewers are saying this is a convenient loss of memory? Oh, I, I, I really wish I could remember. It hurts me every night. I don't, I, I wish I could recall the whole incident. I understood the GBI agent to say that Hoffler told him he normally kept his gun up in his bedroom. Now, I would expect that the defense, based on what Manny Aurora, his defense attorney, asked, might try to introduce hallucinations that can be associated with Louis' body dementia into their part of the case. Reporting live. Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Mark, of course, you will keep us posted on this. And we have been on top of this investigation into the shooting at this Lake Oconee property. We rented a boat so that we can give you an up-close look at the scene as well. The suspect, Ch Chad Huffler's wife and two sons, told us they did not believe he was capable of killing Mark Demos. Huffler's son also says his father was panicked when he told a 911 dispatcher that three people were inside his house.